Welcome back to the channel, people. So today we're breaking down some of the key investing red flags you need to look out for when you're starting off in this investing journey. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna get straight into it. So the first red flag we need to be mindful of is the revenue decreasing in any business, man. That's super, super key. If we start seeing the revenue slipping, it's a no-go, it's a red flag. It's offside, blow the whistle on the business, man. Because if that's consistent and we keep seeing that happening and that becomes a pattern, that means that the profits over time are gonna diminish. And as we know, profits are the oxygen to any business being able to grow, man. So if the revenue is coming down and you know year over year that revenue keeps slipping, it's a no-go, man. And you need to mark that on your list as a red flag. So next up, along with that, if we start seeing the debt in the business increasing, that's no good. That's a red flag, man, because we don't want debt and we want as little debt as possible because the more debt there is, again, we're gonna have to service that debt. That, that needs to be paid back. Those interest payments need to be paid as well. And how is it gonna be paid? It's gotta be paid out of the profits left in the business, man. And like we said, if we see that revenue decreasing and the debt increasing, that is a no-go. And we don't wanna be having businesses like this in our portfolios, okay? So next up, Dividends, man. Um, a lot of people like to invest in companies that pay dividends, and it's a red flag if we start seeing businesses cut their dividends, man, because I'll be real, the dividend might be the thing that attracted you to owning that business in the first place. And if we start seeing those dividends being cut, that's a red flag, man, because dividends, like we said before, are thank yous to shareholders for owning those stocks, okay? They are shareholder incentives. They give a shareholder value. And if we start seeing those being cut, that's a no-go, man. That's a red flag and we don't want that. And we don't want those companies in our portfolios, all right? So next up, this one's a big one. So if we start seeing CEOs increasing their pay while the stock performance is going down, that's a red flag, that's no go and that makes no sense. Again, blow the whistle on that one. And an example of this was a few years back where Coca-Cola CEO tried to increase his pay while the stock was really just terrible. It just wasn't performing, okay? It was giving no shareholder value back. So shareholders were like, well, that don't make no sense. So you're increasing your pay by X million dollars a year yet the stock is in the toilet and the big dog at the time warren buffett he had a huge stake in coca-cola and he was like look no 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 we we ain't we ain't about to do that right now okay we're gonna put this to a vote it don't make no sense we can't warrant your pay increase and you know while the stock is dying a slow death right now how are you gonna make more money how have you earned that money what's your value for that increase in pay a long story short that didn't go ahead so that's a red flag, man. If we start seeing these CEOs trying to increase their pay and their, you know, their incentives while the stock's in the toilet, it's a red flag, man. You need to mark that on your list, all right? Next up, along with that, if we also start seeing regular CEO changes in a business, that's also a red flag, man, because that shows us that there's a conflict internally, there is an issue internally in this business that's not being resolved and it's taken ceo after ceo after ceo coming in to try address these issues all right just think of it no different to like you know you know that person who's in and out of relationships all the time you know multiple people just in and out they can't be single for any amount of time they always have to be in a relationship it's kind of the same thing it's like what the hell's going on with that person man like something something must be wrong there's a red flag there so it's the same way in businesses. If we start seeing their leadership change too often, it's a no-go, man. It's a red flag. You need to mark that one down. Next up, my favorite one, okay, is free cash flow. If we start seeing the businesses free cash flow in the negative, that's a huge red flag for you, man. And free cash flow is basically just all the money that this business has left over 
after they pay all their bills, all right? So if they've got no money left over their bills, they're broke. They can't, they can't produce any more, you know what I'm saying? They're not bringing any more money in. And also it's gonna hinder them producing more growth in that business. And growth is what we need. Growth is the catalyst to get to that next level in any business. And we need money to do that. So the free cash flow is a key indicator if the business is gonna to continue to grow. And also it shows us that they're a good steward with money because businesses also need to be great investors. You need to understand this, that as, as we go along our journey personally, we will get better at investing. So the businesses, they also need to be great stewards of managing money. It's no different, okay? And if we start seeing the free cash flow drop in the negative and it starts doing that consistently, a huge red flag man and it's probably my biggest one on the list that i pay attention to so lastly man is touching on that as well is the idea of profitability so i get not every business when they start out is profitable okay and it's not the end of the world if a business isn't profitable but what is the end of the world is if a business is not profitable right now and the ceo in place cannot provide us a profitability Date. So not being able to provide us a profitability date is a big red flag, man. So a few businesses that spring to mind was Tesla. Tesla until recent was not profitable. They weren't making a single dollar. Now, they were generating money, but they weren't keeping any money. So that's what the idea of profit is. Profit is the amount of money they get to keep after all revenue has been brought in. So Amazon was another one. Amazon was not profitable for about 20 years. So it goes to show that great leadership is important. And if they can't show you a profitability plan or a kind of a roadmap to profitability, that's a red flag, man. And you need to go back and research Jeff Bezos letters to shareholders, man. We give you chills, it's amazing. And he was a great example of that. You know, Amazon is one of the best companies, one of the biggest companies in the world right now, best performing companies in the world right now, but they weren't profitable in the beginning. And it took them a hell of a long time to be profitable, but the CEO in charge, the, the captain of the ship could steer us to profitability and give us that path of profits that we could expect in the future some returns, man. And that's super important that businesses provide that information for us. And if they can't, like we said before, red flag, blow the whistle on them. So look, let's review quickly. Let's go through uh, some of these red flags, man, because we dropped some, some amazing gems here. So the first one was if we start seeing that revenue decreasing, that's a red flag. We need to not look at those businesses, all right? Also, along with that, if we see the debt increasing, that is a toxic duo. That is no good, man. They're the toxic twins, revenue decreasing, and we've got the debt increasing, man, no good. Also, dividends, if we start seeing dividends being slashed, they're being cut, that's not good, man. We don't want those in our portfolio, okay? And then we see the CEOs trying to increase their pay, but the stock performance is coming down, it's in the toilet. Red flag, blow the whistle on them. Also, regular CEO changes is no good. We don't want those in our portfolios, man. We don't need those. And my favorite, of course, like I said, is the free cash flow. If the free cash flow is negative, that's a big no-no, man, that's not, Good, okay, I'm gonna pull that offside flag every single time on them. And lastly, that profitability plan, that profitability date, can that business provide us that? If not, red flag, man, blow the whistle on them. So look, man, I hope you got some value from this. Uh, if you did, drop a comment below, let me know what your best red flag, your favorite red flag was, and share this out, man. Share the value, get the channel growing, it makes all the difference, man. And this is what it's about. It's giving people the information to power their portfolios for profits, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, man. Appreciate your time as always. It's your boy Ash Assets, man. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's go.